Good morning, guys. This is Melvin Robinson, Integrity Air Home Inspection, coming to you from uh, Attic Space. And uh, just getting up in the attic, and I'm checking the roof truss system out. And um, one thing that I noticed is that it had like a little bit of uh, uh, black specks on the wood, which is considered uh, fungi, mold, growth, whatever you want to, um, however you want to label it. But it's definitely a little bit of growth. So uh, the situation is that, you know, when you have new construction, the wood is actually left out uh, in the elements prior to it being built and also uh, before the roof has been put on. So even if the truss system was installed, the roof uh, shingles were not installed and you could have a situation like this to where you have a little bit of growth. Now, nine times out of 10, this is not going to really affect uh, the average person. But if you have uh, allergies, if you're allergic to mold and uh, if the mold has not actually dried out, but if the mold has dried out, it still could be um, a nuisance for a person that's allergic to it. Uh, we got a little bit, a little bit going up here. So oh, this whole truss, you can kind of see the tent to it. Uh, it's definitely something that you know you can always ask the builder about. Uh, you know, I would definitely you know put something in writing saying that it is here. So what I would do is, uh, all right, I got my moisture meter. So I'm gonna check uh, the moisture content in the wood. All right, so we're about 6%. So 6% is pretty much almost dry. Uh, anything that would be like for wood about uh, 20%, then that'll be an indication that the wood is still damp and it could still have some type of growth still growing on it. Now, once you once the wood is dry, it, it dries out, the mold will not continue to grow, but what is already there could still cause an allergic reaction in a person that's highly uh, allergic. So you want to always make sure you have a home inspector. Check that for you. And uh, check this out over here. Make sure that the wood is, you know, dry. Make sure that it is not uh, still having any type of uh, mold growth. Now, we could do a mold test on something like this, but, you know, it's probably not going to come back with a whole lot. Uh, other than saying that it is uh, some type of fungus. Um, so it, we'll put it in the report. We'll, I'll make sure that I put the moisture content in there. And that way the homeowner kind of knows what, what, what's going on with it. And it won't be a problem. And here you can kind of see. So, like I say, they lay the trusses in the ground. You can actually see the wood, <laughs> see the wood has made contact with the, the dirt. It's got some, uh, some hay up in there. And this pretty much is just, I mean, it's just unsat, unsatisfactory for uh, builders to not at least clean it off. You know, you, you just got all type of growth on there. So that's just uh, just more issues that you have to kind of deal with when you're when you are uh, building a home and you're trying to uh, get everything taken care of. So we got about six percent right there as well. So make sure you get your home inspections. Make sure you guys uh, check with your builders on everything. And that way you guys can. Uh, have an easy build, a smooth transition, transition into your home. All right. Y'all have a great day. Melvin Robinson, Integrity Air Home Inspection.